He recorded his biggest record back in 1966. The Immortal, The Train Is Coming. So the train is coming now, it's so long I've been Today, 55 years later, Rocksteady legend Ken Booth is still aiming high in reggae. And wait till you hear what brings the Everything I Own singer to our stage. Who is Silk Boss? For starters, his first two music videos racked up over three million views on YouTube in just four weeks. Magnum launches new talent show for performing artists in Jamaica. But first, Guinness top 10 trending songs in Jamaica for this week. Authentic with Winner Like War starts off for countdown at number 10. Remember who run it for, dark who run it grid, a winner like war. And for 50 continues his journey at number 9. Guest on our show this week, Silk Boss, has his life story at number 8. While Popcorn is superior at number 7. TJ has his Bitcoin at number 6. And starting off our top 5, Vibes Cartel has a chat with the devil on a track called Temptation. Intense goes to the Bermuda Triangle at number 4. While Squash is still in serious mode with Don't Play With Me at number 3. <laughs> While Alkaline's sell off is number 2. Korean kitchen and chicken and wing. Airport sticker bank crab and napkin that sell off. And Still a Bleed by Chronic Law is now number one. If you ask for the wound, yeah. it's still a bleed, still a bleed, still a bleed, yeah. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winford Williams. We'll be back. On stage with Winford Williams, so much more than entertainment. As mentioned earlier, Magnum Tonic Wine launches a new talent show for performing artists. The winners will walk away with over two million in cash and prizes. The brand's regional marketing manager for Jamaica and the Caribbean is on our stage right now with all the details. His name, Kamal Powell. <laughs> Kamal, sir, welcome. Thanks for having me, man. Congrats. <laughs> this, go ahead. this looks like success already. Uh, the journey has been amazing. In just over two weeks, we have seen quite a number of traction, so I'll say yes. Yes, so, so talk about it. It's now officially launched. Yeah. And you're oversubscribed? <laughs> well, more than oversubscribed. I think what happened in, in the summer, we sat down when we realized that this COVID thing is going nowhere and quite a number of young artists are out there mm -hmm. uh, trying to get their name on the, to be the next big, big, big thing. And yet, as you know, there's no stage show. So normally these young artists will be going to these stage shows and of course performing and then, mm -hmm. you know, ultimately be selected by one of the top producers or making their way through life. But there's, there's not that space anymore. So most of the entertainment industry is basically booking the persons that they know. So we decided to, you know, sit with Ramesh and figure out how we can give these young persons an opportunity to become the next big performer. So tell us about the mechanics of it. Well, I mean, we kicked off around September 3rd, asking young people to come on board and um, submit 30 seconds of their best lyrics. Um, and we cut off around September um, 22nd. We had over 1,700 entries. I think it's an overwhelming um, experience for the entire team. Um, and since then, we have shortlisted 16. Now, initially, we wanted 12. 
-hmm. But because of the number of entries, we decided to go a little bit wider and deeper, and we decided to you know, select 16. And those 16 will kick off definitely this um, Thursday. Um, on the 14th of October, mm -hmm. and we'll, the, the competition will run all the way to the end of the um, until December 9th. So we're looking for some great things. It's a broadcast project, right? So it's it, all broadcast. <laughs> well, so what we have asked consumers to do is to log on to MagnumHub.tv. It's our MagnumHub dancehall platform, yes. which speaks about all the dancehall entertainment that you can find in Jamaica and across the world. Um, there is where you can go and actually view the contestants. Now, we have broken it up into kind of three rounds, a preliminary round, which starts on the 14th of October, mm -hmm. and it will run every Thursday at 6 o'clock um, all the way down to the 9th of December. And you can definitely watch the preliminary rounds, the semifinals, and the finals. Mm -hmm. Consumers, all they need to do is to log on every week once they have seen the performances and vote for your, your, your favorite artist to move on to the next round. So it will only be available on your platform? It will only be available on our platform. Of course, we have, we're partnered with quite a number of other media agencies. So they'll give you snippets of whatever would have happened on Thursday. And of course, you can follow the, the artist bios um, in the press um, across Jamaica. We're talking about Jamaica a lot. Does it include the region? Well, for the first phase of this competition, no. But of course, we're going to extend it to the rest of the region by next year. But you know, once you're watching on our, our platform, you can vote from anywhere in the world. So if you're in Trinidad, Barbados, Guyana, if you're in Africa, if you're in South America, wherever you are in the world, once you're logging on to the magnumhub.tv and watching the videos, you can go on and like um, the performance and, of course, vote for the best performer that you have. So what will your consumers, the viewers, be looking for? What should they score these artists on? Well, we've asked them to come uh, as, as critical as they can because we want the, 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 the artists to be as energetic and as natural. Um, and what we say to them is come on stage, be as natural as you can, come with the right lyrics and experience. And of course, you know what you like in a musician, so you know what you're looking for. And people can differentiate between a Beanie Man and a Bounty Killer because of what they, how they sing and what they sing about. And so you need to just come listen to the artists and select the best artists for the, from the competition. It so that there will not be any judges, no professional uh, um, opinions about their performance and so on. Is that so? Well, definitely. Um, the entire competition is up to the consumers voting. So it's con <laughs> consumers all <laughs> the way? All the way voting oh, wow. right through. So there'll be no judge's opinion um, on it, of course. Uh, just the, the raw vote. <laughs> the raw vote. Um, Ding Dong will be on board. He will be giving some review of the, you know, the, the competition by stages. Mm -hmm. In general, this is general overview as our brand ambassador for Magnum. But generally, consumers just go and vote. If you're a fan of any of the four persons per week, go and vote, go online, just vote, and of course, you know, send the person through to the next round. And the importance of that is that because we're so um, you know, insular over the last couple of years, we want consumers to be very interactive mm -hmm. with the program. Okay. You, we also developed a prediction game, which consumers can win great prizes from Magnum, uh, where the cash or, of course, complimentary Magnum packages, of course. So you can go on to our magnumhub.tv and predict who you think will get to the semifinals and the finals as well. It's a very interesting concept. And I think people will be willing to give their vote or strike. <laughs> we don't really know what kind of limitations in terms of response. Because the Jamaica, all Jamaican respond to things. You know. Anyway, so images. They, and will you find your own? To, to, will you add your own like the, like the fire? I would, but not the one, the everyday, everybody fire. The Jamaican kind of <laughs> a torch or something. Well, you may need to, you may need to talk to Instagram. The producers are putting in some quite creative way, where, ways where um, yeah. the consumers can interact with the platform. Yes, there will be comment sections, so you can comment right away. And in the comment section, there will definitely be some icons that you can def definitely add to the Jamaican experience. So that's, yes, sir. That's I, what we want to do. I think you need to, to, to create some for the, the way Jamaican <laughs> responds. The performances, I don't know. It's not so stush, okay? But <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, funny, and then when we announced the, the 16 contestants, we already see the competitive nature of the consumers online because, yeah. you know, the, the border lines have already started it's to be drawn between it is. the, com the it competitors is. and it, their fans. It should so. be. But it should be exciting, it's exciting really. Yeah. It's exciting. It, uh, to me, it sounds very exciting. Okay, so what's the, what are the prizes? Well, definitely the first place we know walk away $1 million. They will actually get their own um, 
uh, recording from, from Ramesh. So Ramesh will record their first song. And of course, their first music video will be produced as well by us and by Ramesh. Well, Ramesh will lead, and of course, we will mm -hmm. pay for it. Uh, second place will walk away $300,000 cash, and their first recording um, will be done by Ramesh Entertainment. And semi finalists walk away with 100000 just for getting to the semi final. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, so we'll. So give us the, the dates and the, the platform and so, so on again. So 16 lucky um, 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 competition um, finalists have already been selected. So starting October 14, go on to our Magnum, magnumhub.tv at 6 p.m. and listen to them um, compete. And every Thursday since then, all the way to December 9th, you can definitely enjoy at 6 p.m. And of course, vote, vote, vote away. And if you want to win prizes as a consumer, you can definitely join our prediction game. And of course, he will get into the finals and the semifinals, and you can win cash and prizes as well. So, looking forward to seeing everybody online and watching the competition. <laughs> okay, sir. Sounds good, though. Sounds good. I think you're going to get a lot of people viewing and <laughs> interaction. You're going to get their response. And so we're, we're standing by to see how it unfolds. Well, definitely. I mean, after the 9th of December, we're looking forward to having, hope, hopefully we're outside, and hopefully we can have the finals outside, okay, and so people can come and see it. That would be nice. That would you know, nice. tune in virtually and enjoy. Yes, boss. We need a little more than we're going right now <laughs> in the space. Thank you so much, Kamal. We look forward to this big new competition. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yes, sir. All right, so there you have it. The man himself, yes, the man himself right now, telling us about this new platform for those looking for the all-important boss in the music, in Jamaica's music. All right, and still to come, after 60 years in Jamaica's mainstream, Ken Booth is launching a children's project. Can you believe that? Who is this silk boss? with over 3 million views on YouTube. All coming up right here on our stage. On stage with Winfred Williams, so much more than entertainment. So who is the artist known as Silk Boss? For starters, he's from the new dancehall mecca, Montego Bay. His first two music videos racked up over 3 million views on YouTube in just four weeks. Right now, right here on our stage to demystify Silk Boss, the man himself. Silk Boss, sir, welcome. Welcome, Sam. Blessed love. Mm -hmm. All right, sir. So just start by, start with the journey to this point in your search for a place in, in dance hall. Well, I start out at a tender age of the music, you know. Mm -hmm. Normally go to church with my granny. And me and my granny there at church. I normally live on church choir, so I get vocal training from this. Mm -hmm. You know? Coming up, I always have this passion for music. I write some gimmick song when I sing gimmick song. I write song wearing a song, but you know, really put together. And then I have my uncle there, my way come in and I play and say to me, say, yo, if you want to be a big artist, you know, so you have to write songs where people can relate to, where people can understand. And I go back to the drawing board and I did it and I write and I write. I come up see me. I do like a freestyle, I go on one and two places, go show my talent. I hope say somebody will recognize me back them the time there. But at the end of the day, nothing not before the time. You know, so I continue. And I do music and I do music till I go do a freestyle. I'm going to do a freestyle and my nigga name CF video me freestyle and post it up on TikTok. And then I look me see me that start run with it. Yes. People start link me from all about to me. It mind blowing cause me never think say me as a ghetto youth would not actually reach on a platform, you know. I know say I have a talent, you know. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, most of the time, you have to have certain people around you and certain energy for reach certain places. Yes. You know? I'm the day I do a freestyle, see if post up a freestyle, see if it go viral. Then third and link me up on Instagram and I said to me, say, you know, see you bad. 
I me mean, I say, yeah man, me there I go and do it though my father. And he must say, you know, say I forgot to come at town and I said to him, say yo, tear up. You know, say me broke like a dog. Me broke like a dog, you know, me didn't even know how to reach out there, so you know. And me did there, I mean I talked to him on the phone, cause he ended up calling me, you know, and I said to him, say me don't know how me go reach out there, so cause me didn't even have a dollar, you see, Jag. And same time my mother said to me, say, Bobby, how old that? I mean I said, Mommy, you know, say I tear up and I say you want my father at town for come vice his song. And mommy I say, oh you reach at all. I say, I don't know. And mommy said, I'm talk to him. And I say, oh, Terror, chat to my mother. You see, and Terror, they talk to my mother on the phone. My mother gave me two grand a day. And then he called one of my other auntie around the road, see me. And my auntie gave me one another two grand for the money. So I end up with four grand now for come to town. I link my uncle Robert and I say, oh, Robert. You know, say I forgot to go to town, drive me in your car, go to town, the G say, oh, baby, you know, say I would do it. But I have my daughter to drop off at school. That the time there, I can't fight a man for that same way, too, because mm -hmm. I understand, I see, pre can have a child for go let her off at school. So, see, me, you know, I did there, and I say, oh, oh, I'm going to reach now. So, I link Grim. Grim, I'm from my boy, see, me, I link Grim. Grim, I say, oh, artist, know yourself, man, I work out something for you. Grim link Sheldon, I see, pre, and Shellas. Bring me a town. I didn't even have money to buy gas to put in a Shellas car. You know? Mm -hmm. Shellas drive go to town, see me too. You know? When we reach a toll, we pay a toll, see me going through a toll. And we reach a town now. Me, do not even know who me they go to a town because me don't know terror picture. I never see a picture of terror, never see terror for me, born. So terror is who exactly? Terror is a producer. producer. Terror is producer. a producer to me, you know? Okay, so he liked the, the, the video that went viral, the, the little post. Yeah, 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 yeah. And wanted to record you. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. so go on. Yeah, man, so I reach a town now and I link up with terror and terror link me with Silverbirds records. You know? Silver birds, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So from there me end up no Dean, me end up no Chamba see me, you know. Silver birds family see me. When Chamba gone see me, me did up on the black see me. Me feel like a home see me, then me feel welcome see me, you know. Mm -hmm. From there you now, we put in the work in our studio and vice the song name mankind and Terra said to me, say, yo, brother, I we get your powerful vocals from you. Oh, you bad, so I did there, me I laugh, I did there, I laugh. Because me, it enjoying for me if you just know, say, me I try hard how long and somebody finally recognize me. So everything, when just slamming on my brain, and one part of my brain start to explode. You know? Mm. And Terry said, yo, we have to go shoot a video for this, you know? And me I say, video? When you know shoot the video? And Terry say, video have to shoot right away, right away. No, 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 if the video have to shoot. See? And I did it and I said, all right, anything you say, Terra. And Terra said, all right, and this is the day we are shooting the video. You know? And we're going to do the, the video on the day, you know? Chamba CM we did it. Dean did it. The whole Silverbird Records did it. You know? Grim did it. Tajay Ice did it. Shellas did it. The whole team did it. So I feel comfortable and happy while I'm doing the work. Mm -hmm. You know? And then I said to me, say, you artist, I said, that song yeah, where you sing, it have a vibe and it have a a emotional feeling. So you see when you're in the video, you have to put that the same emotion there in the video for making people them feel you and feel your song. And me do that and the video come out. The video come out very good. So you were able to exhibit that emotion, those emotions. Yeah man. Uh, would you consider yourself emotional person? Oh, yeah man. You are. Yeah man. You're very expressive. Yeah man, I'm very expressive man. Me is a youth where if something happened to me, I am not afraid to come and talk, say, yo, yes. something happened to me. It's so it wasn't difficult for you to, to, to do that video, right? To, to, ex, to express yourself like that, to that one looking on it. Looking at you, they would see that you are wrapped up in your, your emotions in that moment. Because it, it looks that way. Yeah. That you're very credible about what you say, and you're sincere, and you really are feel what you say. Yeah. It quite it, it was easy for me to do because that song overall, my writing, you know, a uh, specific specific time and a specific day, you know, when me have to feel a specific way. You know? Oh. So I write that the song the out of emotions. Mm -hmm. So if you deliver the song with the same emotion of my writing, you know, all me have to do is think back on what happened the, the day to me where it made me feel a particular way. I see. And, and, and the same for the video. Yeah. So that the, 
the visuals was even was carrying the same vibe, yeah. same same emotion. Can we just pause here and take a mashup of not just that, but the two big ones that 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 did so well on YouTube? Let's go to them. That's it. That's the title of that one. And uh, Life Story is the other one, right? Yeah, Life Story. Let's take Life Story now, right away. Watch out. Wall me one and chat the road. Mommy me no want a friend. All them said them real to me and still them want my life here. All right, and that one is Life Story. Yes. Yes, Bridget. I understand now. <laughs> it's all right. You gave us the story behind um, Mankind. What's the story behind this one? Well... And then the same type of feeling in me. Mm -hmm. You know, when they go through a specific thing, a specific day, you know. And my mother looked at me and I said to myself, my son, you know, make sense, you get yourself in an own trouble. You know, and go give up your freedom for suit nobody. You see that pain the way I feel? Take you and write music. Because you see you love music. So put your yeah. pain in your music. Your mom told you that? My mommy. Wow. I'm a little bit of a All right. I do what mommy say, you know. I sit down and I see my rum and my weed, see me, I did there. Smoke out my sense and I drink out my sense. Yeah. Because I mean, I want emotional state and I did there and I say, oh God, no, you. I know, so I'm tired of them people, I you. And I start get corrupt, I did there and I say, oh, I'm tired of you. I just tired of everything, you. I see, you pray. And at the same time, I listen to a song, a little baby sing. I name close friend, you know. I mean, I say, you know, said I read him, I sound bad. I wonder if I read him up on YouTube. I'm going to go up on YouTube, type in a close friend with him, and download it from my phone. And my freestyle, the first part of my um, life story. Freestyle, the first part of life story. Then I want to shop with my cousin named Keenan here. You know, Chantel, my uncle Robert, a couple other people. Well, there yeah, I shop. Mm -hmm. And then I say, yo. You not done right, that song, yeah? I mean, I said, no, you know, say, I freestyle me there, I freestyle, I try to find a punchline. And the G, I said, yo, I got a punchline. That, the same thing there, I hit her the punchline. I mean, I said, all right. I mean, while me, I walk good on the road now, I have my headphones and my ears and the rhythm I play, and I did it. And I said, I said, I'm going on the road. And I just there, and I look at me alone, I walk good on the road now. Can you see which part I live? I want one way lane, you know. Mm -hmm. Go right down in the bush, them cave over one another. So did the dark can look like one tunnel, no street light, one piece of rocky road. Mm -hmm. You know? I don't know where I come from, you know, it's rough and it's tough. You know? So, I stay so now, I walk down in the night, on the lonely road, I'm alone, you know, after nine, you know. I'm alone, I alone and walk down on the road. All the way time, that no business. I just did it and I just a meds because I'm still in an emotional state. You know? I'm the day I'm a med, see I'm a, I'm a med span it up. And day by day, I just take time and add on some little piece. I don't hurry up and write it. Yes. Every day, I just med span one different piece. I like write this piece here, and then I sing it over and continue and repeat it and repeat it till I find one other piece where I can go there so what makes sense and rhyme with that one I go set to bring off back the type of feeling when I look fine at this song. All the while narrating your reality. All the way. Yes. So speak to the response. How did your mom feel when she heard it? Well, mommy cried. Every time I see my mother, my mother cried. From the day the video got viral, I get the break. Every time I see my mother and my mother and me, I make four. Wow. I hear what, and mommy cried. Because mommy, mommy have it hard. Four of mommy have it. My only boy, the biggest one in it. My father never did that for none of the four away. She won me the four away. Okay. So mommy have it hard for me and you. And I look in at mommy eye and I tell mommy every day, say mommy we might get enough trouble, but I have to make you all right and can live life like people too. And can enjoy yourself and go anywhere you want. But me, if nobody else not do that for you, me they go do it for you because I'm your biggest son. Mm -hmm. At one point, I'm going to give you trouble. So all my mother went out me at one point. Because me, me I give be a problem. Be a problem. My mother sent me out to school and I get kicked from school. I get kicked from Spot Valley. I get, me end up at Irwin I 
and I get kicked from every night up. Uh, I go end up and I decide to say, you know what? I'm going to go go settle down and take it in Sydney in my brain, you know. <laughs> what motivated that? That change? Really? My sister, them really. Yes. Because I have a sister. She follow me. After me, then she. She have a heart problem. You know? She really. She asthma. She have asthma really bad. You know? Most times I see her collapse. You know, in front of me. Remember all one day she dropped down in front of me and I swear you think I lose my sister because I see her eye them roll over so. I swear you think I lose my sister. I start crying tears come and my eyes see me, I see Jagalade. So, the day I did I pray my sister and I say, God know you. I have to make my sister good, I have to make my mother good and I have to make my family good. I have my loyal friend them when nobody never did it for me to save me to want me out there and I get there and I almost lose myself. And them see one look for me and say to me, say, yo, Bobby, how you do? You know, I go there, you know, that's how you want you go, you know. Because mm -hmm. you know, if I you go, I have to make you way for all of you, you know. So you can't play a fool, you know. So the man them look for me and I tell me, I did it. Same time, now my best friend, that I told you, guys, my best friend from school days. Mm -hmm. Fim father is like a father to me. Bingy. Bingy sit me down days upon days upon days upon days. Bingy sit me down and I talk to me and counsel me and say to me, say, yo, Bobby, you can't play a fool, you know. Because I'm an artist, you know, I can do music, you know. And Tajay can do music, and Chip can do music, and you can do music, you know. You see, pray. I have all a bigger brother named Chip, see me. Chip drop out, see me. You know, my blood brother, but. My brother from another mother, because he did it for you all away. A Taji blood brother. You know? Chip a musician, see me, and Chip drop out, see me. So that, that kind of give me another drive to push myself and push Taji for doing music and everybody around me for do something good now. Yes. So from there, so we decide to say, yeah, what? We go farm, fill with him. Ice Nation. You know? Ice Nation? Yeah. Ice right. Nation is music. Overall, music we are free, mm -hmm. you know, to elevate one another, each one build one, you know. Why ice? Why ice? Yes. We love smoke. When we are go to school, we build a crew from we are go to Spot Valley School, because then the time we build a road. Yes. So we are saying, oh, we are building a school, you know. Mm -hmm. So we build a white ice because they have one specific weed, one name white ice, and we normally <laughs> love smoke and drink. Okay. So we say, all right, mm -hmm. white ice crew, you know. And we're up on the school till everybody start call with white eyes now. Till one other, other crew up on the school, same way we and them end up in a certain thing. We start beef up on the school. That's so how comes me end up get kicked from school now. Mm -hmm. You know? After a while now, everybody went split up because me end up at other school. Me lose all contact with them and see me, you know? And me did the same way. And me still never tap the music, see me, as much as everything good. And me still I do the music, I do the music, I do the music. Till me get back link with everybody. And we decide say we go farm a team, you know? And me I said to Grim, I say, oh Grim, you know, say, if we take up back the Ice Nation thing, dog, we know the pre what we normally pre when we look around go to school, you know. A different thing we are pre and we know money we are pre and we know. So this a white ice thing and when we are go to school and I pre foolishness. So we are gonna change the white ice name there. You see pre a ice nation now and Grim I say, Oh you mean man? I say ice nation, yeah money, ice nation so good money, ring a bell. And the whole team agreed to the Ice Nation name, and we say, all right. And then from there, so we start come up with, we unsign them. We start come up with, we little merch and thing, you know, to promote ourselves. We start go one, one and two, free stage show. We don't get no bookings, but we go look for you show them. You know, we go step on the show them and show my talent and make people know me. So from there, so now I try to build my fan base now, you know. Be like Instagram page and me and drop up. Be a freestyle every day. Be a freestyle. Sometimes I put up freestyle and a 32 views. Me sip on here and me thank God for it because I never must go there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but nonetheless, you're talented. No, no doubt about it. You can write, you can perform. You have a great voice, a, a good flow. So, but for youngsters, because it's, your story is very ins inspiring and a very, a very, and, but a very common story in Jamaica, you know, I mean, among inner city youths like yourself. What would you say to those who, who don't have a talent 
an identifiable talent like you. Because you, you put your thing in a, in a music and you recognize that you could do that and you loved it that much. What would you say to those though? Who are way more, whole heap of them out there like that. What do you say to them? Get up and do something. Do something. Yeah, because nobody now go really, nobody now go help a man who not help themselves. Yes. You know, the Bible itself tell you that, you know, the Lord help those who help themselves. So sit down, if you sit down and wait, I don't know where they wait for you, know, but you know, come in and you have to go meet that halfway. Me, before me reach, from this platform and turn silk boss, I normally work a car wash, a wreck people yard, a, 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 a walk a down people yard, you know. I work a construction site. When I come home, I can't even lift up the fork feet. I didn't come here and them can up. And then think they made the forward from you know. Mm -hmm. So I just I tell them, say, yo, do sit. If I even want like a supermarket work, go on, because it's better than nothing. Now, at least you can take like a share more to your eye. Mm -hmm. You know, you can have your own bread in your pocket. If you feel like drink, you can go buy a drink. If you feel like smoke, you can go buy a smoke. Because what? You earn your honest bread for yourself. Yes, sir. You know? So as long as they do something, they don't take up a violence and pre no violence, they do it right. All of them can't make it. You should make a tune like that. <laughs> do something. <laughs> Call it do something. <laughs> anyway, Virgin, where you want to take this though? Where you, what are you aiming for? I aim for a rocket to go out of space. Yes. And my mother was in a state. <laughs> That's another song there. <laughs> um, <laughs> Well, you know, my friend, I really, really appreciate this chat. It's, it, as I said before, it's a powerful story. And uh, we want to see you succeed because we like your vibe, we like what you're saying, we like your message, we like your walk, and, and that you believe in you. You know what I mean? And so, I you, it's like you, we want to say, rise, you know this. And we want to see more people giving you love and support you know what i mean because you you've articulated everything that we ought to be doing our kids ought to be doing we like it choice our words articulate oh you're expressing yourself what you're expressing from deep within you you know what i mean so so what we're going to do then is to leave the rest until you come again <laughs> and remember you're, you're going to perform for us live you know but we still know that you're going to come back because we just feel, say, are you like you're going to rise fast and you're going places now this. That's my personal view. I hope my viewers, my followers, agree with me and give you the love and the support, my friend. So we're going to leave the stage for you to perform for us. And thank you again, Silk Boss, for coming and sharing your story so openly and honestly on this platform. Say? You're welcome, Mr. Wynn. Much love and, and respect, boss. Bless up. All right, so now we leave and give the stage to Silk Boss for a, a live performance. Watch out. Wall me one and shady road. Mammy me no want a friend. How them say them real to me and still them want me life here. And the mess up thing about it is me give me last and not to them. Really done a dividend. So Jada send a cross for them. Me know say even real, but them a tell me about them. None of them named the dog when Jesus born a Bethlehem. My family did genuine. No key and go murder able then. Envious of crosses. You know see a baby them. For every damn go lie at Mr. David have a spear for them. Music in my life. So me I sing until the day me dead. And if you think you're tough, me say the system have a place for them. Devil find you walk the high glass and couple lazy friends. If you want to go sleep, me say the Taurus are going to make your bed and pay your head and close the open gates and make you lay to rest down. Make you lay to rest. The system set away my friend. Politician want to vote for them. Fisherman love sea, so them never build a boat give them. Them full way up a promise and one bag of so my friend for vote for them like Kobe them and Memphis them and Cody friend. Right for shot news and close the door for them. But it's a story I'm mean, used to tell me living the life. I'm a feeling so high now. And this a feeling and I me living the life. I'm a feeling so high now. And this a feeling and I me living the life. I'm a feeling so high now. And this a feeling and I me living the life. I'm a feeling so high I know Daddy gone from me a five Mommy a struggle that I'm a baby days Did I pray for get rich From a tender age My while my home alone Cause she in the street like every day Me say, me can't wait for get big dog And help my mother pay every way And make my sis happy every week More while every year Start go school now do my work And I get my grade But me not just nobody So you know me I did stay away 
Happy prayer news, humbleness got through the gate Drop a high school, just touch down in at the 7th grade First fighter with a boy with a 17, we look like 38 But through me smiling, feeling could have rap me and get away Me still have me mending in the really full face, stay away I hear me wrong, but through me damage him, me get the blame But me cuss, you know, when him send me home for a couple days Him send me son, me see you laugh and dig us off But me never know I saw your heart did full of rage I'm living the life, I'm feeling so high now And this a feeling a nice, me living the life I'm a feeling so high now And this a feeling a nice Me living the life I'm a feeling so high now And this a feeling a nice Me living the life I'm a feeling so high now Me living the life I'm a feeling so high now And this a feeling a nice me living the life, I'm a feeling so high now. And this a feeling a nice. Me living the life, I'm a feeling so high now. And this a feeling a nice. Me living the life, I'm a feeling so high now. Full moon and shady road, man, me no want a friend. All them say them mean to me, and still them want my life to And they mess up thing about it is me give my last and to them. Really, John a division, so just a send a cross to them. Me know say it's my real, but them a tell me about it to them. Stay with us still to come after 60 years in reggae's mainstream. Ken Booth is launching a children's project. You don't want to miss that. And that is next, right here on our stage. On stage with Winford Williams, so much more than entertainment. Ken Booth's presence in Jamaica's music spans over 60 years. A pioneering stride packed with classic boom shots, including the immortal Train Is Coming in 1966. So the train is coming now, so long I've been waiting. And the UK chart topper, everything I own in 1974. And now would give me Ken Booth's latest project is an album for children and is on our stage with the producer of that project, Rickane Scott. Right now, right here on our stage. I went for it, I went for it. It was so nice to be I mean, in your presence. It's a pleasure. Uh, you know, you talk about this project, the children thing, you know, um, I asked God to grant me two wishes. Mm -hmm. You know, and one is, is a soul album. Yes. And the next one is a children album. You know, children are the heritage. And we all, we all were young, you know, and I, I think about it and say, I need to give back mm -hmm. to children because they're not mentioning children much anymore. If, if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So I decided to to do this album. Um, songs like, uh, they taught us in school, mm -hmm. like bits of paper. Mm -hmm. Bits of paper lying on the ground. And Jesus loved the little children. Row, row, row the boat, you know, this kind of song. And, um, but this song now, um, um, this one that we're promoting now, mm -hmm. It, it, it's original, and and it mentioned my three grandbabies. Funny enough, you know, my son named them off Artibella. Yes. One named Sabella, one named Gabriella, and one named Abrella. <laughs> <laughs> Rickane, welcome, sir. I didn't get a chance to welcome you. Welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. <laughs> Good to have you. And you are the producer of this project. Um, your perspective on it. What what's the drive the driver for you? And how did you get this great man to do this? <laughs> Well, this great man has always been my friend for, for some time now. And he always told me that he had two wish. He told me that he wanted to do a solo album and a children album. And I said to him, you know, when you think about what is going on now, there's no, there's no great emphasis placed on children entertainment, especially yeah. here in Jamaica, of course. Yeah. And you know, especially what is going on, COVID and all of that. So hey, I said, hey, let us step into the children album and work on it and see what we can do. So. He sang a few tracks and I was blown off by it. And I said, mm -hmm. Ken, this is worldwide. This is sophisticated. This is unique. You yeah. have to let the world hear this. It's a shocker for me because Ken, you think of Ken Boo, the legendary 
the rock steady ledger. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't think of him doing a, a children album. No. Yeah. As I said before, children are the heritage. Yes. I remember when I was a young man, you know, a young baby boy, I grew up and didn't know my purpose in life. Mm -hmm. And I know a whole host of children, you know, and grandchildren. I'm a father. I'm a grandfather, and I'm a great grandchild, you know, you know. <laughs> so um, yeah. I love children, you know. Yeah, I, lo I really and do truly love children. Yeah. And so you must have gotten some feedback on it. What are people saying about the project? Oh. Are, they as are, are they as surprised as I am about it? And they are so enthused, they are fascinated because oh, yes. when they hear that Ken Booth is doing a children album, it's different. I so. played it for a couple of people, you know, <laughs> and they, they enjoyed it so much. Yeah. Mm. They love it, you know, love it. And I know the children are going to love it too. And so the children get a chance to have something new and refreshing right now because, you know, we want to keep our kids in the context of children entertainment mm, yeah. and not to force on the adult entertainment just yeah, Of yet. course. Let yeah. them give them time to grow, you know? Mm -hmm. We're actually, the single, Wait For Us. Mm -hmm. That's the name of the The title of the song. Wait For Us. Wait, yes. wait For Us. Wait, wait For Us, wait. wait For Us. So Bella, wait for us. We love you more than words can ever say. Oh, you see the video, you see more. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's pause right here and take the video there, yeah. okay? That's the event, so. Yeah. Oh, with me, it's fun time! <laughs> Wait for us, wait for us, so Bella, wait for us. We love you more than words can ever say. Wait for us, wait for us, Gabriella, wait for us. You're the only one can show us the way. Wait for us, wait for us, Gabriella, wait for us. We love you more than words can ever say. Wait for us, wait for us, Jazzy, wait for us. You're the only one can show us the way. Wait for us, wait for us, Rikayla, oh, wait for us. We love you more than words can ever say. La la la, la la la, la 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 la. La 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 Wait for us, wait for us, Sabella, wait for us. You're the only one can show us the way. La 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 Wait wow, for us. what a beautiful, oh, I beautiful love song. Yeah, the Gabriella. We had these children inspire us, you know. Oh, they were right. yeah. great inspiration. I know who played it. Robin Lynn, you know. Robin, yeah. Robin Lynn is the one who played the accompanying the instruments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that, yeah. that first shot in the video, the first, very first frame is your is your home Ken. Yeah, which museum, is a, museum, it's museum. like a museum it's yeah. a museum isn't it all those yeah, great just, great pictures yeah great mm. i always let people know that when i look back after a while they're going to be tears of joy yes because it's not just me alone in, inside of that place you know but my friends people who make a great contribution to the development of jamaican music so it's not just singers alone but players of instruments djs you know, yeah, and mm -hmm. I want you in there too. <laughs> <laughs> she was thinking, <laughs> she was well, I'd be happy, well, sir. That would be. I need a picture, man. I would yeah. consider that a, yes. an, 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 an honor to be there. You know, some of our guys are not here with us anymore. Yeah. And uh, all of them is inside here. John Wood, Dennis oh, yes. Brown, Alton Ellis, you know. Yeah. Um, but this, this, this children album, I, 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 I just want to give back you know, to children, because they're not profiling on children much anymore. You know, um, I'm, I'm so glad that I'm alive. 
Mm-hmm. You know, um, and looking great, Ken. Thank you very much for input. But I'm glad to be in your presence. And all the cameraman and these ladies that put on the makeup and all that. You know, they always, they always say that we all are compatible. Well, you're not even wearing anything, are you? We all are compatible. The cameraman, the journalist, yeah. and you're the host. Thank God for you. Thank you promote the music big time. Thank so, God. So, Rick, you, you're... So talk about your background. Well, I've always been around music for, from when I was born. Mm. I have a cousin in the States who's a rapper. Vado, we the best. We have... I have a lot of... I've always been around music. Yes. And, you know, funny enough, how I really came with Ken as a musical wise. He sang for a cousin of mine as a special guest for his birthday. And from that particular day, we have just been friends and I've been in music, I've went on tours, I've went here, and I've just... Mm. I've just yeah. catch the concept of music and mm-hmm. just naturally flow music. Love for the local entertainment industry to take our kids and put the kids up front, making more materials to do with children. Yes, Get yes. the kids up front. It's a wonderful call yeah. you're yeah. making. You yes, know what yes. on the video? My daughter, Ricky, oh, I have to talk about Ricky too. Yeah. Uh, if it's Gabriella, these are all Ken grandkids. Gabriella. Yeah. Gabella, Abella, yeah, and yeah, Sabella, yeah. and Rikela. You they named them, Ken? <laughs> no, my son. Yeah. You named my father, Bella. Uh, oh, okay. So, you know. And Jazeel, another granddaughter of mine, but she's English, she's in England. Yeah. You know. Speaking of the UK, just reflect for us a little bit. When you topped the British chart yeah. in 1974, yeah. with everything I own, yeah. What went through your mind, Ken, when you scored a number one hit song and then that, that coveted chart? Yeah, it was like a country boy, you know. Yes. I couldn't believe it, that I, that I tapped the chart. <laughs> so were you yeah. in, where were you at that time? In the UK or in Jamaica? In Jamaica, I know. Funny enough, I lived at um, Textan Road those days, mm. near to Arnett Garden. Yes. Gardens, and um, when, and the, those days, there was a letterman who come and rang the bell and ding 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 yeah. So I was on my veranda, you know, and he had a bell and it went outside and there was a, a, a telegram saying that the song is in the breaker. The breaker means that when it leaves the breaker, it's going to go into the charts. Mm-hmm. But everything I own released in Jamaica was so big that I, when they sent for me to come to do the first step of the pops, I couldn't make it. Yes, so that's a used, TV show. Right? Yes, but they used this guy at a window in a dark shadow like, and then people think it was me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, so, so the, about two weeks I, I, I went up and, and I did Top of the Pops. From the people like Elton John, Gary Glitter, um, Righteous Brothers, Art Chocolate. Yes. You know those guys? Those big about, names. Big names. And, you know, the first time, it, 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 when you have a song number one in England, you know, you have to go through the music union. You can't play the original record. Is mm-hmm. a musician have to play it and then they oh, play it yeah. on, on top of the pops. So I have to do it back with the orchestra, a big mm-hmm. orchestra, you know. And I remember when I went there, um, I prayed. I said, I'm Lord, put me through this. Because I'm not just like a country boy, I don't use to nothing that that's around me, you know. Yes. You know, so I'm, I said, I'm Lord, put me through this. And funny enough, you know, when I started the song, thank God, I, I, I focus on just the piano, the piano going, chang. Chang, because there's all kind of strings, oh boy. Mm-hmm. What are different instruments for you? <laughs> <laughs> so when, so when, 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 when they complete the recording, the, the, the director, because I don't have to have the director to, you know, he came up to me and he says, superb. And that's what gave me confidence. Mm. Yes, and then after that, I went on top of the pops about 12 times. Oh, wow. Because mm. you made another uh, chart smasher. That same year. Yeah, crying over you. Crying over we, you. We went you went to 11. number 11 yeah. on, the, on the, uh, the UK chart again. Yeah, yes, yes. So they were in love with you, Ken, after that. I must thank God, yes, the people. Are, and you know, we, we, we move up to thank Caribbean people mm-hmm. for the input. Because these are the people who have a, have, a, have a friend who from a different race, and they introduce them to Jamaican music. Yes. I remember in 1967 when I went to England, the first time I went to travel out of Jamaica, me and Alton Ellis with a band. It's we first travel out of Jamaica with a band, you know. Mm. And, and with part of Scatterlight, so they, they call them soul vendors. You know, so I had these beautiful memories. I remember when I go to England, 
And, and, we, and, and I went on the stage and I was so, I, I closed my eyes when I started to sing because I, do, I see so many white folks, so I never sing to so many white people before. <laughs> you closed your eyes? I closed my eyes and then gradually I just take time open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm, I'm with tour England, you know. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm with Stan God for Sir Coxon, too. Mm -hmm. Through the one, you know. Through the one, yeah. Because yes. none, none of us were fortunate children, and it took us and make us what we is today. Yes. By, by producing us, you know. Build a studio. We never want to go inside and record. We can just go in and record. You know, so... Um, I have to give thanks, Winford, you know? I have to yes. give thanks. And then it, 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 it changes, you know, it reaches a point now where they call the music today a dance hall. And I'm not against it. But I'm against sometimes the rugatory kind of situation and violence. But mm -hmm. there is so many singers and players of instruments today. Young singers and, you know, yeah, yeah and I, I love a whole lot of them. And I, I'm not here to fight music. We have to keep tongues that we are here to, 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 to be a part of it. Because I'm in the dance hall thing now, too, you know. Yeah. See what you're speaking. I'm in the dance hall thing. <laughs> yes, I, tell I, us I, about I just it. do a song. Well, do, ka dum tum tum, a dum tum tum, a dum tum tum, tum a dum, tum a dum, tum a dum, tum, you know what I mean? Hmm. There's that song, uh, there was a song they recorded this guy, Teddy Brown, years ago. Beyond the hills lies the valley. Beyond the valley lies the sea. Mm. Beyond the sea lives my baby and patiently waits for me. I've done that in a dance hall farm and everybody like it, but oh. I, I try to involve, get involved in every era of mm. the music, you know? Because it don't make sense if you fight it in the middle, you're joining. But, you, but you know? your, your presence in the music is as is as long as the music's life. Of course. You know what I mean? The, the, yeah. the, 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 your presence in reggae is about the, the age of reggae. You've been there before. Yeah, of yeah. course, yeah. Because when I read up on your, your entry and, and your entire journey, there, there was no time in the history of Jamaica's music when Ken Booth was not, was not relevant, was yeah. not present right. uh, in it. I thank God for you know what I mean? Um, but, but reflect for me, and the, the train is coming. Yeah. That immortal song, which you did in 66. Yeah, and then come back and we recorded it again with Shaggy. With Shaggy. <laughs> and, and it hit the money train. Yes, and yes. And literally, for you and Shaggy. Thanks to Shaggy. The money train. The money train. Livingston. Yes. Oh, you well, come about, you know, he came to my house, Robert Livingston. Yes. And he said, he have a project and he want me to be a part of it. So I asked him, what is the project? And he said, to do the train back with Shaggy. And I said, it's a pleasure. And um, I didn't make money bother me because he told me that um, it's going to be big. Mm. You know, you have some people. He told you like, that it was, it was going, going to be big. Virgin, you know, so Virgin record, you know. Yes. So he told me that, and I said, I'm, I'm, I'm ready, because, you know, Shaggy have a big name already, and things like that. So I, I was so fussy about what, what he's going to give to me at the moment, at that money. Mm -hmm. I want to be a part of the project. And it and becomes big time, because the money train was a snipe, and, mm -hmm. you know, and, and so far. And Mortalized I mean, it. I mean, Shaggy did a video in California. You know, I, I, I stay into a hotel that is only one night, them keep me in there because it's hotel, you know. I, I went no and no, asked the front desk, how much a night for this hotel? It's about $700 a night, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's only one night, them keep me in that fight. <laughs> so much? <laughs> yeah, man, I play wow. basketball, play and football, yeah. and American football players come there, you know. But I get curious, I said, I want to find out about this makeup. I have a friend that came here and looked for me, and when I'm going to the washroom, he said, Jesus Christ, Ken Bood. <laughs> <laughs> but on one night, next night, out. <laughs> oh oh but I enjoyed goodness. it a lot. Because we went in the mountain and did the video for, for the train, you know. Even when I, I, I look at the video and see this, this train ripping down the line, it was not like that, you know, when put it on a trolley, me and Shaggy, you know. And a trolley in a little place, you know, and them just keep pushing us back and forward, back, forward and backward. And when you look at us, you know, we are ripping up. I'm like, right, look. <laughs> 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 but I enjoyed that. And, um, 
the seat in the movie, you can't, I mean, you can't believe it. I'm ready to take you know, so I'm ripping the place. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but thank God now, thank God that, you know, um, we have a lot of ups and downs and things, but we persevere, we guys. We didn't give up, you know, because the other day I went to university, to a forum, you know, lecture, and I was telling these people that most of the songs that they were here, we sing, I heard we sing. We, 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 we done them on hungry belly. Yes. Because we live with our parents and then we drank a little tea and so nice key, the color bar wall, no bus fair. Then we went to shoot the one and you know, and we have to really, we have to give thanks. You know, and um, and, 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 and some of my friends, as I said before, they're not here anymore with us. You know, and, and but, but, but their contribution mm -hmm. to, this, to the development of our music. Some of us are here still, but some of the greats, you know, they, but, but the, the music, you know, lives on because it can never die because sometimes I sat down at my house, listen to a radio station, and you know, but John Holt, Delroy Wilson, you know what I mean? Dennis Brown, Brown All of them. Ellis, oh, those records will never, will never go home. Never, never, never. They'll never, never disappear. You know. I remember sometimes when I sing Panala Khan, you know, and hungry, you know, but some people look at me and say, sing two songs, and then they come on the pass through. And say, young boy, your son, good enough, give me a, 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 a chop and sir. You know, I can go buy a grat one, you know? <laughs> and a nine pound sardine or something, and, and put it together and eat that. Yeah. Yeah, but you have to remember people like these, you know? Yeah. You know, we need sisters along the way. Because we're we, we not your fortunate children, you know? So we have to remember that where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. As in, where you can know where you're going. And I always remember where I'm coming from. That never comes out of my mind, you know? And I thank God for people, as I said, like you, that's still keeping up this business and mm -hmm. make, it, make it shine all over the world. Thank God for people like you and thank God for the nowadays artists who, who, doing, who, doing, who singing music that can uplift the minds of people. Yes. We cannot thank you, people like yourself, all of you, who have pioneered this music and took it to the four corners of the earth. Yeah, I always said We me. in Jamaica cannot thank you enough, sir. And we just can't thank you guys neither for, for doing what you're doing for, for the business. You see, that's why I said we all are compatible. That's the least we can do. Yeah. You know, funny enough, Winford, you had mentioned about the sincerity of these the older generation artists. And you know, when there's any charity event or anything, anything I'm a part of, and you know, when I take my phone up and I'll call a few yeah. artists and say, hey, I want you to be a part of this. You know, the more support I'll be getting is from the senior artists. We're doing, let me tell us something now, but we can go on and on. But <laughs> yeah, nonetheless, yes. thank you, sir. Thank you Respect, appreciate much. the great project. Thank you. Thank Ken. you, Fabi. Thank you so much. Oh my, thank it's you. my pleasure, Ken. Anytime, man. Thank Anytime. And you. and I hope persons will go out and check this album, this children album. Yes. Wait for, for us. Yep. That's the name of this album. A yes. special album from the legendary Ken Booth. Wow, and Rickane Scott producing this record. It's for children. Yes. And it's beautiful. The one track I heard, it's wonderful. Mm. Go get it. Go find it. Right. And that's our show for this week. Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more On Stay. <laughs>